so so welcome to ayur yog webinar 11 thank you sir priti ma'am you want to see am i audible yes. uh, yeah hello hello priti ma'am hello nikola sir hari om hello hello ashwin sir yes i can Sanwar hear sir. okay yeah priti ma'am बताइए जी इनकी आवाज क्लियर नहीं आ रही है ना इनकी प्रवीण जी प्रीति मैडम की नहीं नहीं मैम ऑलरेडी चेक मैम इज माय वॉइस ऑडियोबल टू यू डॉक्टर प्रीति यू हैव जस्ट अनप्लग अनप्लग योर इयरफोन प्लीज Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah. Now your voice is audible. Yeah, very much audible. Okay. Okay. Let me check. Yeah. Okay. Where is uh, Vivek Vikas sir? Priviti, no. call him, na? Call him. Uh, in meantime, Doctor Preeti, you may start with some uh, the intro about the topic so that the peoples uh, can listen. Uh, we already live on Facebook and uh, the people are watching us. Right. Thank you. Namaskar all and greetings from uh, Ayur Yoga Expo. Uh, today we have all gathered here to talk about Agni Karma, less a very less talked about subject, but a very important and the ultimate healing modality. in ayurveda ayurveda says that uh, charad agni gariyan that means it's above the sharkar the dadhanam roganam apunarbhav they never reoccur agni karm is such a beautiful modality which treats without our minimalistic reoccurrence of diseases and we have uh, assembled here with a star word of practitioners and uh, researchers in agni karma i welcome you all to this beautiful and out of the box webinar of, away from the you know stress uh, inducing webinars of covid which we have been attending day in and day out for the last one one and a half month it's an ancient innovative parasurgical method actually surgery without any surgical instrument i always define it like that it's almost a surgery but without surgical instruments so i think we should get this going and uh, we are here to save your another academic feast the 11th one in the row a webinar on agni karma and i am pleased to uh, share with all all of you that we have participants from around 21 countries today in this meeting room who are uh, Uh, so attending this attending this webinar about ayurveda expo it's india's first world assembly on ayurveda yoga and naturopathy the first edition was organized at india expo center at mart greater noida in november 2019 it proved to be the biggest platform for the domain of ayurveda yoga and, and naturopathy today we are honored that the head of iyo steering committee and director of india exposition mart limited shri vivek vikas ji is with us i request him to present a welcome thank you 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 it is a am i audible yeah. yes sir yes sir it is a pleasure to have such eminent members on our panel for 11th webinar of ayur yog expo a world assembly on ayurveda yoga and naturopathy today we have with there aswin berot he is renowned ayurvedic practitioner in england Dr. Nicholas Kostopoulos, founder of Holistic Health Center Greece. Dr. Sudeep Verma, 
अग्नि कर्मा एंड क्लिनिकल रिसर्च एक्सपर्ट लखनऊ डॉक्टर उमेश सहगल मेडिकल ऑफिसर हरियाणा गवर्नमेंट एंड द मॉडरेटर ऑफ दिस वेबिनार इज डॉक्टर प्रीति छाबरा सीनियर कंसल्टेंट आयुर्वेदा सर गंगाराम हॉस्पिटल न्यू डेली शी रन श्री कृष्णा स्पेशलिटी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ आयुर्वेदा Recently, she successfully organized five Agni Karma workshops at her center. She has also national patron, National Ayurveda Students and Youth Association, NASA. She is also the member coordination committee of Ayur Yoga Expo. The idea of Ayur Yoga Expo, a World Assembly on Ayurveda. yoga and naturopathy was conceived by padam shri guru ji dr h r nagendra and chairman iml shri rakesh kumar this expo was executed at iml at the international level to benefit the mankind under his blessings and guidance with the help of ministry of ayush we made it an international conference vaidya devendra Trigona ji and Dr. G. G. Ganga Dharan played a vital role in making this program a knowledge-packed event. In 2019, the first edition of Ayur Yoga Expo received humongous participation from Ayush industry. In fact, the international footfall was 1,000, which is a huge number for Ayush exhibition sector. This time in 2020. Ayur Yoga Expo will be held in October. Today's topic is role of Agni Karma in Ayurveda. With my best wishes, let us start with the webinar. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for that uh, welcome note. I would request uh, Praveen Prabhakar ji for a short video clip on Ayur Yoga Expo. uh this is just a small video clip of 1 minute just to have an inkling about what's it all about and then we go on to the session quickly pravin yeah. prabhakar ji yeah ma'am yes.
with me and con continue hello thank you thank you uh, praveen ji i think we can uh, start from here let's all together invoke the blessings of lord dhanwantri to shower his eternal bliss of health on the entire world i proud of dr ashwin marot the senior most panelist of the day and before proceeding i would like to introduce him dr ashwin marot graduated from nadiyad gujarat practicing ayurveda in a holistic way he is a teacher par excellence propagating basic principles of ayurveda across the globe he has revived agni karma treatment for effective pain management and he has been instrumental in establishing ancient knowledge of agni karma on the basis of modern scientific principles so we look forward to be fed by the nectar of your experiences on agni karma over to dr ashwin bharot sir welcome sir the day is yours namaskar uh, prayer and prayer to lord dhanvantri and all the rishis Charak Shushud Vagbat and all the Rushis he has worked on behalf of us. They got some time to write a books. Imagine, they did not wrote what they have wrote. We will not able to practice what we are practicing today. So always, always, we are blessed with our Rushis and our tradition. Comes to Ayurveda. Everybody can hear me well. Yes, sir. come to ayurveda is a science of life i always talk this is not a science of vaishyajya it is not vaishyajya veda vaishyajya means medicine it is ayurveda it is life itself and life you know five element and the self when you put it together it becomes a human being now why i love ayurveda because i don't practice ayurveda i love ayurveda do you understand the difference between two because when you love something you merge in so when i was studying at that time when they was telling me hitopadesh first year and telling me about philosophy i thought i came to be to be a doctor why are they teaching me philosophy now 40 years of being in medicine now i know philosophy is most important now i will go back to agni karma but agni karma is a is a tool generally one has to learn more about vata pitta kapha which all of you know satvar the stamas is a part of our tradition why i picked up agni karma i'll tell you a little story so you get you know why am i on about agni karma i have practiced in the west in uk for years and extremely successful practice but i will not go into that but i love to do research i always want to find something new why rushi has written something whatever he is written it has to be a scientific basis so one day about 8 10 years ago i was traveling in india and i went to different hospitals our ayush hospitals and i saw a lot of patients sitting in the queue with arthritis because as you know in opd in ayurvedic opd you get 40 40 40 50 percent of the patients are arthritic patient and i thought okay i am fine in europe i have done lot of work but let me do something in india to to help people through ayurveda then i thought about all sorts of thing then i was doing research into burns and then i fall into agni karma and when i read every shloka what shushruta has said i said to myself this cannot be true when medicine doesn't work when surgery doesn't work when kshar karma doesn't work agni karma works and is a profound statement from shushruta and i thought i will take it on i had a few uh, vaidyas young vaidyas they always tell me teach us ayurveda ayurveda i say okay let's start agni karma so about 7 8 years ago i started to take them to villages and we started practicing real agni karma what shushruta was describing and that journey just now is 41000 patient has been done in india now 41000 patient with a record proper precise detail of the patient why am i telling that because if lot of vaidyas who are watching this program i want them to to learn to be very precise in ayurveda 
whenever we do case history we must take a precise case history i will not teach you every word about agni karma but i i, I want to uh, young doctors to encourage to practice agni karma because it's a boom in ayurveda because whenever you, we talk about ayurveda they modern say do you have anything as a painkiller in ayurveda do you have this do you have that and why they get little shy what i would like to say that agni karma works better than morphine and i am telling you with experience so uh, agni karma to talk about the practicality of agni karma agni karma should be done properly clearly and precise i don't want to go into detail by saying dr chabra already said that whenever you treat uh, with agni karma it gives profound good result etc um, also it works um, with skin and uh, mansa mansa is the muscles these two places agni karma can be done uh, dr costopolos will talk about the the mechanism of it i will talk more about the practical aspect clinical aspect i really would like vaidyas to learn agni karma in a scientific manner in a such a way that when we produce the uh, bone wound it should be treated properly so in agni karma there are three way of looking at it one is a purva karma pradhan karma and paschat karma these are the sanskrit word if, if non sanskrit speaking people or don't know in a sanskrit before the procedure during the procedure and after the procedure what i have found over years of practice and teaching to my young doctors that purva karma means most of the vaidyas they say okay you got knee pain just do 10 points of the agni karma it is not like that because wherever there is a pain you can do agni karma so most important first to identify the point where you want to do agni karma to examine the patient properly clearly and identify the point where patient feel most painful then make a little round and then do the agni karma now when we do agni karma we do agni karma through salaka there are different way of to do agni karma you know sneha agni karma as well but salaka the metal rod metal is the most appropriate at the time and place now when you do it what should be degree it must be 5 to 600 uh, degree of the salaka when the salaka become red then you can do the agni karma so first to find the point number 1 number 2 keep the instrument ready number 3 talk to patient because whenever you are doing agni karma thermal microcautery patient feel anxious so you must communicate properly then you do the agni karma 1 2 3 5 10 10 up to 20 points you can do it depends on where the site of the pain is and then i specifically emphasize on a paschat karma which i am which i am emphasizing again and again with all the students who are learning from us that paschat karma in terms of how to take care of the wound or burn wound shushruta did not describe too much about paschat karma but to my mind if you do not heal the wound properly or if you do not cool the burn immediately patient does not feel comfortable and they would not like to have another follow up so what i have done me myself and dr costopolos we have looked into different herbs and we were doing research into burns soria robusta most of the ayurvedic doctors must be knowing the name soria robusta ral and a herb from greece called mustik we have combined because mustik is also part of indian materia medica we have combined that together with european technology and made a cream now i personally believe that if you apply this kind of cream which immediately cools the burn which gives the confidence to the patient so normally we do aloe vera or we might use honey or honey and ghee this does not take the burn pain away you know this is the something you have to be very careful that you have to apply some substance paschat karma which creates a faster revitalization anti inflammatory and reduces the burn pain that you have induced the you have produced the burn so this is something i believe that if you do in precise way then a lot of joint pain joint problem uh, i mean some kind of cases we have seen 
in India, where if you look at the MRI, 10 years ago, I would have said, no, this is an operative case. Nothing can be done, Ayurvedically or any other, any other pathy. But by just doing Agni Karma, hundreds of patients have got better with evidence. MRI does not get changed. Let me make it very clear. So if you look at the MRI, and there is a complication, degeneration, and, and the orthopedic has advised them to do operative procedure. Uh, this we have done, we have repeated the MRI again, MRI remained the same. So there's a lot of debate needs to be done, a lot of investigation to be done, but we must find scientific proof how pain get reduced. As we have orthopedics, we have pain consultant now. Uh, most of the Vaidyas or people who are listening now, they would know that there is speciality called uh, pain consultancy, where people go and study pain itself. So we have got a colleague from Ireland, Dr. Uh, Camelus. Uh, he is ex-dean of pain faculty. So myself, Dr. Costopoulos, Dr. Camelus Power, we constantly work. What happens to brain? Well, how does the pain get decreased? What actually happened? And as you know, in modern medicine, it's very difficult still to pinpoint uh, which part of the brain get involved in pain. But by doing the procedure, uh, and I think at, uh, I, I'll mention the name Global Agni Karma Center, which is based in uh, Ahmedabad, uh, we have done 40, 41,000 patients, 1.4 lakhs procedure. We also have running a course, uh, up to now about 82 students we have trained and um, doctor come from about 12 different states. What I'm trying to make a point, I, I talk like this to people to get encouraged. Then you say, oh, with Agni Karma, little aches and pain gets better or real pathology patient has not get better. If Dr. Chabra allows, I will put a little two, three minutes uh, video just to show uh, how patient before and after improves. So, is it okay, Dr. Chabra? Yeah. Okay. okay. Go ahead, yeah. 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 Just a second. We are fixing, and we'll start showing. I, I carry on until they they show. Hmm? Uh, so, what I really believe or, or would like to say that Ayurveda should be practiced scientifically and we must have evidence based. Any work we do, they, they are trying to sort out the, to, to fix the thing. Anything we do, we must have evidence. And evidence means clinical evidence. It has to be there. So, modern medicine, when we are talking, they always say, where is evidence? They, modern medicine, they will ask two things, either evidence or mechanism. Now, how Agni Karma works, we cannot show the mechanism because uh, one has to know the function of the brain and functional MRI cannot show the pain, uh, how, how the pain is uh, affecting the brain at the moment. You want to start now? Okay. Okay. Start. Uh, screen, yes, okay, and um, yeah.
Yes. Now I come back. Now the reason to show this that any pain consultant from the world or orthopedic who sees the patient's pathology and their investigation and clinically they uh, examine the patient, they will say nothing can work. And when this kind of patient gets better, just trying to treat the patient with a, such a precise Agni Karma. I always make a fuss about precision. Uh, if, anybody, if somebody has come across to me to study Agni Karma in India, either through Skype or, or personally, they would know that everything has to be so precise and clear. And then if you do the uh, Paschat Karma properly, after doing five, 10 sessions, depends on the condition, or a two session or a one session, patient improved dramatically and we should keep a uh, I'm very happy to interact because I don't like to keep on saying how good we are or what we do I say how wonderful Ayurveda is and how wonderful our saint Shushruta is for him to write then 3000 years ago that look nothing works do Agni Karma and I say really let me try but it really really works uh, in a, such a dramatic way and I wish that every hospital, every clinic in India, whether it's government or private, they should learn Agni Karma. And uh, the whole idea of uh, in Ayurveda, we don't have a painkiller can go away. Dr. Jabra, you can ask me a question. I can tell you more. <laughs> I think we can have a question. I mean, question answer or anything else. Because I want to give other yeah. uh, panelists to have a chance to talk. Yeah. We'll have the other panelists in the row, and then by the that, end of that, the that, session, that, that, that's questions. what I meant. That I, I want to stop and give you a chance to. I, yes. On behalf of the esteemed gathering, I thank you, sir, for a very motivating and confidence-building talk. Forty-one thousand patients, one point four lakh procedures is really a number to be proud of. And Agni Karma, as you rightly told, and I have been also experiencing in my practice that is, it is Ayurveda does not. Work. It acts as a non-drug morphin and uh, your practicalities, your confidence has been injected into the uh, gathering, I feel. And we quickly roll on to our uh, second panelist, Dr. Nicholas Kostopoulos from Greece. He graduated from Ath Athens Medical University and int was introduced to Ayurveda by Vedya Asim Barod. He has collaborated and practiced Ayurveda. Uh, in integrated as integrated medicine in Harley Street, London, and established a holistic center in Greece in 1999. He has conducted research on the management of psychosomatic diseases and stress management through Ayurveda. And along with Dr. Aswin, Dr. Aswin Barot, he has been uh, he has developed a, a ointment, as Dr. Barot said, uh, to heal the uh, wounds. Over to Dr. Nicholas. May I invite Dr. Nicholas to please uh, come forward for the talk? Namaste. 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 Can you hear me? Uh, am I audible? Namaste. Good. Uh, first, thank you for inviting me. And uh, really, I have to say thank you to Vaidhi Asbin Barot. Uh, you know, in India, you have this tradition, you thank your, your teachers. Uh, because whenever you do something, in some way, it is the wisdom and blessing of the teacher that allows you to do things. So I was working in, uh, in England at that time. I was doing research in asthma. And I was fascinated by the way Vaidhi Asvin Barrow was applying Ayurveda in a very precise way, scientific and philosophical at the same time. So I have to thank him. For, for, his, for imparting this knowledge in this way. Uh, hello to all the panelists. I think uh, Ayurveda in, 
India in some way and Ayurveda in the West has a slightly different flavor. Uh, we say that nobody is a prophet in his own place. That if you have something constantly, you cannot really appreciate the depth and the science behind it. Uh, so uh, it's real that Ayurveda, although it uses Sanskrit language and terms that sometimes are not comprehensible in the West, because if you say Urastana Mudanasya, uh, Nazanam Yigalam Tsaret, does not sound so scientific as saying that serotonin and serotonin selective reuptake inhibitors. So sometimes our mind has gone to science, but in a slightly wrong way. Uh, in reality, Ayurveda was the first science to talk about genetics, to talk about personalized medicine. And if I move a little more into Agni Karma, that is our, let's say, topic today, uh, although it looks very simple, that traditionally they use the salaka and they will touch with heat a point on the skin, I can say that uh, really Ayurveda is extremely progressed in this. Uh, you might know, you might have heard that medicine nowadays moves from the field of chemicals to the field of, to the field of neuromodulation. Th think of something. Our body has a structure. Structure is quite solid. Then we have substances in our body, like cholesterol and urea and creatinine, that are quite steady. Let's say if you did blood test today or tomorrow, uh, the, the cholesterol will be more or less the same, except if you have done something dramatically different. But the chemicals that deal with pain are very fast chemicals that they change within milliseconds. So in reality, if you try to find a chemical to alleviate pain, like opioids or non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs, you cannot target it to just the pain. You're going to have side effects because the chemical you use is very gross compared to the pain signals that work in our brain. Because remember, pain is in the brain. You know, when we do anesthesia, we anesthetize the, the brain, and that's why the patient has no sense of pain whatsoever. So, if one thinks now in modern terms about pain, one should not just think of a gross chemical that you can use. One should think of how can I stimulate the brain in different ways, to try to neutralize the pain signal. And uh, we call this neuromodulation in modern medicine. Uh, and there are different ways of neuromodulation. And I'll show you some slides in a few seconds. But acne karma is a very precise method of neuromodulation. This is how I want this method to stay in, in, the, in the brain of people. We will call it thermal because acne is thermal. Micro, because you use a very small area, cautery. This is the term that is the modern term, thermal micro cautery. And in this way, you mean you apply heat in a very specific way to create a signal that goes to the brain. And then this signal does a lot of things. If one talks about science, you can say that really we have the descending inhibitor pathways. We have pathways from our brain that go to the site of the pain and they inhibit the pain. This is the concept of endorphins. Uh, we know morphine is working. Why is it working? Because in our brain, we have receptors that are made for, for the morphine. This is the endorphin receptors. So we have to be very precise for one reason. When you do neuromodulation, is like using a key to unlock the pain pathways in the thalamus, uh, to unlock the emotional connections with the pain in limbic system and amygdala, and in this way to neutralize the pain signal. So remember, from my point of view, Agni Karma, although it is a Sanskrit term, you can say it's a thermal microcautery modern neuromodulation technique. Now, remember something Vaidya Zimbabwe said about precision. 
And it makes sense. If you want to open a door, you have many keys, but you have to use a very specific key to open the door. Otherwise, the door does not open. And what is this key for thermal microcotton? The key is this. Precise points you have to apply the thermal microcotton. And I really mean utmost precision. Within few millimeters, it makes a difference. Then you have to have a precise assessment of how the patient reacts when you try to find these points. So you have to communicate very well with the patient. And this is very important for the beginning of the application of the thermal microcotery, plus for the follow-up. Because remember, pain is not something that just stops within a few seconds. You have to see the patient again and again to have a follow-up. So communication with the patient, uh, the patient keeping a pain diary, all these modern techniques with visual analog scales, it's very important to do a proper follow-up. How many points you do on a patient? It all depends. What is the constitution of the patient? How is the skin? What is the depth we are going to use for the thermal microcotton? What is the temperature as well? Is it a brittle skin? Is it a soft skin? Where is the area you apply the thermal microcotton? So, really, the precision applies to everything in the, in the choosing of the points, in the application of thermal microcotery, plus in the follow-up of the pain who has the thermal microcotery procedure done on him. Uh, what can I say? I'll tell you one thing. Today is Friday. I was seeing patients. I can tell you that uh, about two hours ago, I had a patient who suffers from fibromyalgia, is a lady. She comes to India often. Uh, she cannot move. Her pain scale is number 10. We have done thermal microbiota on her about an hour ago. She came down to the waiting room and she says, it's a miracle. I feel different. And I am reminding you, this patient had pains for 10 years. And she came to me as her last resort to have some pain relief. So. It is like a miracle. How can you give a signal to the brain that transforms the, the patient's lifestyle in this way? I have seen so many cases that I am sometimes telling Vaidya Zimbabwe that Vaidya Zimbabwe, give me some Ayurvedic medication, make me 30 years older, so then I can put all my life research in seeing how Agni Karma can be really spread in the world but he's not giving me this medication to make me 30 years old. So I asked all the panel to ask him to do this for me. Would you do it for me, uh, Dr. Chabra? Yes. yes. All right. Let, let me share some slides with you, if you allow me. Uh, because now, you know, you have a lockdown. So uh, let me travel you to, to Greece. Uh, this, is the, this is the center, you know. We're talking about Ayurveda in India. This is the center where we apply the, uh, all the integrated medicine using Ayurveda. We call it Holistic Health Center. It's in Athens, uh, in a very nice and quiet area. And this would do all This is where I am just now. So I'm breaking out of your lockdown. It's like you're traveling to Greece for a minute. And uh, uh, I've just used migraine as a type of example because migraine is really a disaster case in the West. We have about 20 million migraine attacks every day, if you can imagine this. And I'm thinking emails, mobile phones, wrong nutrition, more stress even now with the COVID-19, all these lockdown states, this increases. And uh, there are a lot of mechanisms you can use uh, really to work with, with migraines, but it's small letters, but you can see neuromodulation is one of the mechanisms. Uh, and I have to say, that we have peripheral neuromodulation, so think that uh, Agni Karma or thermal microcotery is a peripheral neuromodulation technique. Uh, we were in Dublin with Vaidyas in Barrot a few months ago, and this is a lecture by Peter Goldsby. You might have heard of him. He's behind the, uh, let's say, uh, the, a, a lot of research in migraine, and he said that uh, really the neuromodulation is the new way, new ways of dealing with migraine. And here we are in the European 
Headache Federation. You can see right here as Baron, myself, David Dodik, who is the, uh, in some way, he's a, a, one of the main people, the top people in, in my grade, and Dr. Richard Lipton. Uh, and I will take you to just have a look at this. Uh, this is, this is a video of a case of migraine. Uh, let me see if I can, one second, if I can show you this video. Uh, my computer shows different things, not a problem. I'll come back to this in two seconds because of some little peculiar def difficulties here. Okay. I'll describe it to you before I show anything. Uh, in some way, I had a patient from Malta. Uh, she came to see me about uh, six months ago. Uh, she had migraine for about, I will say, uh, 10 years. We have done the thermal microcautery technique in, on her. She was lying in the bed. She could not hear any sound. She could not see anything. She had her eyes closed. Her pain scale was vast. And within 15 minutes, uh, she managed to come up, to start smiling. And she said she never had this type of uh, improvement ever again. She said, any medication I have used before really has never helped me again. This happened in October 2019. And I have to say today is May 2020. Uh, and although it is like this, uh, she never had a migraine again. I'm going to see her soon. But she said, I want to tell everybody that really uh, method like Agnikarma, this method like thermal microcautery is unique. And I, I, I want to spread this message that really this is the best method we have it in, in treating migraine. So uh, in some way, I have to say that uh, it is not a question of uh, an ancient method. Look at it as a very modern method Simply the Sanskrit words are Sanskrit and look ancient, but think of it as a neuromodulation. Uh, think of it as a uh, precise way to change the pain scale in the patient without side effects. And I have to say what everybody has said earlier, that it's very important to apply this cream that's made out of mastic and uh, solar robust and few in, in a modern European technology, that when you put it on the patient, the patient does not feel anything. They smile, and I think you have seen in the video he has shown earlier in the uh, Global Agnikarma Center, uh, that really you don't see a patient suffering from burn, you see a patient smiling. So really, I would love to tell everybody it is a method we have to research, I have to say we have published two works nowadays in modern medicine. Uh, and one work is uh, published regarding knee osteoarthritis. This is together with uh, uh, Dr. Camillus Power, the ex-dean of ocular pain in, in Dublin. You can find this publication uh, online. And we published another work with migraines in one of the main hospitals in Greece uh, with the director of the headache clinic there. Uh, with very good results. Uh, so really it's not a question of simply uh, talking about it, it is working. 41,000 patients have been treated in India and in my center as well. Uh, so much work has been done that has amazed me in, in the sense of how Agni Karma can, can work. Uh, so uh, I think I will, I might show you the video a little later uh, if we sort out all the electrical difficulties. But in conclusion, thermal microcautery, one, uh, very precise way, neuromodulation, two, scientific evidence, make Agni Karma uh, really a model for treating pain in the future.
So I will, I think I will leave you now. Uh, Dr. Chabra, thank you. And yes. I'll be available for questions and answers later. And if I manage to shout out this electric, I think so much show you this small video as well in a little while. Thank you again. Your talk was indeed a curtain raiser, sir, on the mechanism of how Agni Karma works. And thanks for deciphering the neuromodulation technique to all of us. And thanks again for taking us to a wonderful journey to Greece. Uh, the third speaker, the third panelist of the day is Dr. Umesh Sehgal from Sirsa, Haryana. He's MS Shalya from Gujarat Ayurved University, Jamnagar. And uh, he has been into Agni Karma practice for the last 16 years. And he's been imparting training as a technical expert in several state level workshops in Haryana. And he's uh, presently working as medical officer, Haryana government, posted at Sirsa. Over to Dr. Umesh Sehgal, please. Dr. Omesh Sengal. Am I audible? Yes, yes, please. Okay, okay. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Uh, myself, okay. Dr. Omesh Sengal. Uh, firstly, I am very thankful to Ayu Yog and uh, Dr. Preeti Chabra to giving me opportunity to share my view. And also, uh, good evening to all respected panelists, uh, eminent panelists. Before uh, I come on my topic, which is expanding paradigms of Agni Karam beyond pain management, I give you the brief idea of my view on general Agni Karam. What happened as Kai Chikistik doing Chikitsa under two Upram or procedure? Langan, Vrangan, or Santarpan, Aptarpan. Being a Shell scholar, I do my practice in two Upram. The first one is Agni Karam, and second one is Rakta Moksha. <clears throat> Reason? As you know, the body is made up of two basic elements called Swami and Agni. Swami is Shukra. And Agni is Atam. And Shukra Shonitam Garbhashyast Atma Prakriti Vikar Samuchitam Garbhiti Ujjati. We know in process of Garbha formation, Shukra which is a Swami Tattva and Artha, which is the Agni Tattva, combines in Garbhasya. It shows that we are the constituent of two elements, Swami, which is Shukra, and Agni, which is Artha. The combination of Swami and Agni should be balanced. If it disturbs, man becomes Vyadhit, Vikaragrasta, Rogi. So what I do, ki if Swami Tattva increases, I do Agni Karma. And if Agni Tattva increases, I do Rakta Moksha. These procedure, this procedure done under the two fundamental of Chikitsa given by Maharshi Charak in the very first chapter, Dirga Jeevani Adhyay. Samanya and Vishesh. Sarvada Sarvabhavanam Samanyam Vriddhi Karanam Harasetu Vishesh Simple methods. Now, nowadays what happened, uh, what is happening, the problem is that the most of the Vedyas purchase the Shalaka and apply where the patient asks he is having a pain. And this makes you only blacksmith, not attending current specialist. So my humble request uh, is to always be there. Before doing this wonderful or miraculous procedure, you should have the basic knowledge of Agni and how it works. And also the Kari Chetra, which is the body. So you should have the vast knowledge of anatomy when you are doing, do, doing want to do Agni Karma or Rakta Moksha. Again, the problem is that the most of the Ayurveda fraternity consider 
agnikaram as a pain relieving technique but in my view this is not true yes yeah, you can relieve the pain miraculously by agnikaram but if you burn the tissue the local tissue metabolism get improved and thus it leads to increase demand of oxygen and nutrient of tissue this further leads to better delivery of nutrients and more than <clears throat> and more efficient to removal the waste product hence speeding up the natural process of repair so agni is not only agni karm is not only a pain relieving technique actually it's a technique who purifies the body and speed up the healing mechanism of the body shabd kal kalpadrum clearly describes the nature of prakriti there are five mahabhut akash vayu agni and prath and agni is a type of tejo mahabhut this tejo mahabhut having hot sharp and subtle in nature what ushnagun does it does the pachan digestion of the toxins what the sharp gun does it is a agni mahabhut pradhan gun lekhan kar pak kar daha daha kar hemadri says yasya shodhane shakti sah tikshna it means it a <coughs> स्त्रोतो शोधन इट मीन्स इट डेरी प्यो सूक्ष्म गुण दट इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ वायु एंड आकाश इट इज स्त्रोतो विकास कर तो वॉट हैपन की स्मॉल टॉक्सिन केम आउट वेरी प्रिसाइजली फ्रॉम द बॉडी एंड इन द लास्ट a factor possessing tej mahabhu in vachaspati agni is defined as naine parinayam iti that which changes is an organism or a substance including that is a key factor of transformation since agni is derivative of tej mahabhu it carries spark in which the inherent feature is change in nutshell आचार्य चक्र पाणी से अग्नि गुण जनकम एवं न च द्रव्य जनकम अग्नि ओनली बी we cannot hear uh, there was some glitch in the net connectivity uh, dr yes. umesh could you please repeat previous two minutes uh, am i able yes you are all yes. am i able some glitch in the net connectivity please repeat uh... hello yes all okay yeah am i audible yes you are audible now Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, as Kalhan says, Vyadi Vat Kapatmaka Tatra Agni Karam Adhikara Pariharastu Rakt Pittad. We have three energies. One is Vat, second one is Pitt, and third one is Kaf. Vat is responsible for functional changes. Pitt is responsible for metabolic changes and cuff is responsible for structural changes and dalhan says ki the adhikar kshetra of agni karm is vat kapaj vyadhi and the person who is a pitt prakriti or pitt type of disease are prohibited or abandoned it in the agni karm process again if you see the contradiction of agni karm should prohibited the agni karm who are not fit for the swedan karm 
and if we apply the arthapatthi praman it means that the person who is fit for svedan karm is fit for agni karma dush is tvak maas sira snayu sandhi and as we found dosh vat and kapha vyadhi we found dush tvak maas sira snayu sandhi asti and agni karm so what happened he beside pain relieving technique we are doing agni karm on vat kapha vikar every vat kapha vikar where stroto roj rodh is there where gaurav is there where alas is there we are doing agni karm shwas kasht is there sinusitis is there keloid is there arbud is there granthi is there we are doing agni karm successfully and uh, as we know that agni karm is a apunar bhav chikitsa if you do agni karm in arbud if you are doing agni karm in cyst you find that it does not occur again but most uh, one thing i also want to talk most of the people talk about sushrut 12th chapter agni karm adhyay uh, some people are uh, uh, quoted ashtang hrde i am quoting three uh, three quotes i am quoting from vasavaraji <clears throat> in pandu dway angule adha kapur tu dahet tamra shalakaya in pandu i am doing agni karm in elbow joint two angle below and getting the excellent result though it is a pitta vyadi most of you say that is a pitta vyadi but i am doing rakta mokshan and then after doing agni karm in pandu dway angule adha kapur tu dahet tamra shalakaya and using what tamra shalak again in kamala घुटिका मणि बंदे चहित सूक्ष्म शलाकया इन कामला नी ज्वाइंट एंड रिस ज्वाइंट अग्निकरम डन विद गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर शलाक एंड थर्ड वासम राज कोट इन ग्रहणी एंड अतिसार इन डायरी एंड आईबीएस एंड देर इज अ कन्वर्शन बिटवीन द गॉड शिव and uh, arvati and this conversation uh, they are giving the idea in agni karam what they are saying shruno devi prakshyami devatva katha yasme agni vaitya mata kare shunash ayat lochane ittadeshena dahed loh shalakaya they are using in diarrhea in granny loh shalaka vinasthi mule root of the spinal cord चक्राभम नाभे नाभि के उपचारों तरफ चद्वय अंगुला अधा नाभि के चार के नीचे दो अंगुल चक्राकार आपने अग्नि कर्म करना है और पीछे की ओर कहां पर करना है स्पाइनल कॉर्ड के रूट पर सो बिकॉज देर इज ए वास्ट सब्जेक्ट वॉट वी डू Uh, as dr nicolas says that uh, skin is a thermo receptor whatever you done in uh, agni karam tvak dagdh shabd pradurbhavo durgandhata tvak sak sankoch cha tvak dagdh so from uh, as we know that skin is a thermo receptor so thermo receptor the, the recept your recept is going on to the from the dorsal root or ventral root ganglion ultimate it's uh, up to the <clears throat> it goes to the spine so i divide the spine into five parts c1 to c7 is the, the <clears throat> is the area of pranavayu t1 t1 45 is the area of pranavayu T1 to T1 P8 to P8 area of of Vayu or L1 to L5 is the area of Apana Vayu. 
that gives you the idea if you are suffering from the constipation you do agni karma on the pan chit l1 between l1 to l5 if you have vertigo if you have cervical spondylosis if you have a head attack you do if you if you have sinusitis if you have asthma you do agni karma in the prana chitra that is t1 to c7 uh though it is a uh shalya procedure so if you if you hear you forgot you see you remember and if you do you understand that's all from my side thank you very much thank you so much dr nish this was really an out of the box thought process the somya and agni concept in applied in agni karma and of course you have expanded the paradigms of agni karma beyond pain management and treating the systemic disorders as well thank you for your very lucid presentation next i would like thank to call you. on thank dr sudeep parva thank you uh, i would like to call upon dr sudeep parva from uh, lucknow who will be talking about strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats in agni karma he is a medical officer in lucknow and he has been a clinical research coordinator and clinical research associate as well uh, i welcome dr sudeep parva to the forum to address the forum thank you dr dr piti chawla and first of all i will i like to uh, greet my guru and my gratitude give gratitude, gratitude to him dr asmi barod i will learn agni karma from uh, their center uh, global agni karma as uh, hello uh, are you dr uh, nicolas i am the same platform today that's great yes <laughs> so uh, this session is very very much interesting so so far and i was uh, going 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 through the all the questions they were asking in the text box so uh, i think that there is so many do many so many people who are doing bms and the final year student and they are practicing right now so my i think that uh, the swot analysis the says w o t the strength weakness and opportunity and threat so i would like to share my ppt so, so they you can uh, they the, <clears throat> so here i am sending my uh, sharing my ppt swot analysis so hello everyone uh, this is swot analysis of agni karma the swot is uh, stand for s for strength w for weaknesses o for opportunity and t for threat and it is this, this is what agni karma is agni karma is, uh, uh, is as ancient technique derived from ayurveda thermal cautery and this, uh, the legendary vedic indian surgeon susrut and this is how it is work this is, is to make the regional nerve reduce joint stiffness increase tissue metabolism improves local blood circulation and muscle relaxation now now come to strength the first point is fast relief agni karm bahut jaldi effect karta hai quick relief hota hai patient जो मैंने प्रैक्टिस में देखा है कि पेशेंट बेड से उठता है और उसको आराम होता है कुछ किसी पेशेंट को दस परसेंट किसी पांच परसेंट किसी बीस परसेंट वेरी मच इफेक्टिव इन वात एंड कफ एज डॉक्टर उमेश सैगल टोल्ड की वात और कफ व्याधि में बहुत इफेक्टिव रहता है इफेक्टिव इफेक्टिव इन बोथ द कंडीशन एज क्रोनिक एज वेल एज एक्यूट पेन तो दोनों तरह के इसमें कोई साइड इफेक्ट नहीं होता है इफेक्टिव रिजल्ट इन टू थ्री वीक्स दो तीन सप्ताह में रिजल्ट आ जाते हैं अगर हम एक सब एक एक विजिट पर भी करते हैं तो उसके बाद अग्नि ही अकेला एक महापंच महाभूत है जो कभी भी पोल्यूटेड नहीं हो सकता प्रदूषित नहीं हो सकता अवॉइड अग्निकरण से आप सर्जरी और को अवॉइड कर सकते हैं पोस्टपोन कर सकते हैं कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव है और लास्ट लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट मेड इंडिया ये इंडियन थेरेपी है अब हम बात करेंगे वीकनेसेस की तो ये पित्त प्रकृति में लेस इफेक्टिव होता है 
मैंने क्वेश्चन अभी देख रहा था आप लोग के जो क्वेश्चन पूछ रहे थे कि कितनी सिटिंग चाहिए होती है कितना वो होता है तो मैं सब उसी उसी पे आप लोगों को सकता है पीपीटी आपके क्वेश्चन का आंसर देगी स्लो रिस्पॉन्स इन रोमोटाइड पेशेंट थोड़ा सा कम रिस्पॉन्स मिलता है रोमोटाइड में अपहत्य समय खट्टे पदार्थों का सेवन नहीं किया जाता है और इसमें सेल्फ ट्रीटमेंट नहीं कर सकते मतलब हो सकता है कि अपने ऊपर आप अग्निकर्म नहीं कर सकते आप किसी की आवश्यकता होगी अग्निकर्म करने के लिए और लैक ऑफ रेफरेंस मतलब वैद्याज इवन वैद्याज आर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ अग्निकर मैंने बहुत सारे लोगों से बात करी है तो बहुत सारे लोग जैसे जनरली भारत में जो वैद्याज हैं उनको अग्निकर्म के बारे में बहुत ज्यादा नॉलेज नहीं है या फिर दे आर नॉट अवेयर की अग्निकर्म कितना इफेक्टिव हो सकता है तो आपको रेफरल नहीं मिलते हैं अपॉर्चुनिटीज में बहुत ही कम प्रैक्टिस होता है मैं तो मैंने देखा लखनऊ में या यूपी में मेरे पास बहुत दूर दूर से पेशेंट आते हैं फैजाबाद बिहार बिहार और कहां कहां से तो मुझे लगता है कि अग्निकर्म के डॉक्टर बहुत ही सीमित हैं तो ये बहुत अच्छी अपॉर्चुनिटी है आप अगर अग्निकर्म का अग्निकर्म प्रैक्टिस करते हैं तो आप पाइनियर हो सकते हैं अपने शहर में और प्रिवलेंस ऑफ ज्वाइंट पेन डिसऑर्डर इज ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी टू परसेंट टू इंडिया पेन रिलीफ मार्केट इज एस्टिमेटेड टू बी अराउंड 4,200 करोड़, विच इंक्लूड ऑल फॉर्म्स ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट इन क्रीम जेल स्प्रे एंड बाम तो देखिए इतना बड़ा मार्केट है और डू द मैच जैसे हम अभी मैंने बताया कि 22 परसेंट से 39 परसेंट पेशेंट है ज्वाइंट पेन के अगर आप इन इतने परसेंट पॉपुलेशन को जितना वो खर्च करते हैं मतलब एक साल में जितना एनवोलियम का बजट होता है ज्वाइंट अपनी बीमारी पे अगर उसको मल्टीप्लाई करते हैं इतनी परसेंट ऑफ पॉपुलेशन तो वो मार्केट शेयर आता है कितना बड़ा मार्केट ज्वाइंट पेन का आप इस आप अग्निकर्म को किस जैसे डॉक्टर मेर सैगल ने बताया कि आप कई बीमारियों में इसका उपयोग करते हैं और बुद्ध में यूज करते हैं स्किन ट्रीटमेंट में यूज करते हैं तो आप मैथ लगा सकते हैं कि देखो कितना बड़ा मार्केट है अग्निकर्म का कितनी बड़ी अपॉर्चुनिटी है थ्रेट में क्या है कि इट लुक इजी बट डूइंग इट इज नॉट इजी आप इसके लिए मैं सबसे सभी वैद्यों से कहना चाहता हूं कि अगर आप अग्निकर्म में ट्राई करना चाहते हैं तो पहले किसी एक्सपर्ट से सीखें उसको प्रॉपर एक्सपेरिम प्रॉपर एक्सपीरियंस लेने के बाद ही अग्निकर्म स्टार्ट करें क्योंकि अग्नि अग्नि इज प्री सर्जिकल प्रोसेस और अग्नि को मौत का हथियार माना है ठीक है मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल नॉट अवेयर जनता को पता ही नहीं अग्निकर्म क्या होता है मैं लखनऊ प्रैक्टिस मैंने बहुत अच्छी किया लास्ट दो तीन सालों में तो मुझे लोगों को समझाना पड़ता है कि अग्निकर्म एक नई नई पैथी नहीं पुरानी पैथी है आयुर्वेद की जितना आयुर्वेद पुराना उतना अग्निकर्म ही पुराना है लोगों के मन में डाउट आता है लॉट्स ऑफ डाउट ऑफ आउट दिस इफेक्ट लोगों के मन में बहुत सारा डाउट ये आता है कि भैया हमारे डॉक्टर साहब ने तो पीजीआई के डॉक्टर साहब ने बताया था कि घुटने का ऑपरेशन होगा या स्पाइन का ऑपरेशन होगा डॉक्टर साहब और ये अग्निकर्म से कैसे ठीक हो जाएगा तो लोगों के मन में बहुत डाउट रहते हैं पीपल टेक इट फॉर ग्रांटेड जब आप आयुर्वेद की पद्धति होती है तो लोग सोचते हैं कि अरे आयुर्वेद है फिर करा लेंगे वो फॉलो अप नहीं करते ठीक से आप उनको सात दिन बाद बुलाएंगे वो बारह दिन बाद आएंगे एक महीने बाद आएंगे डॉक्टर साहब आपने करा था आराम हो गया फिर वो वापस आ गया मैं मुझे वापस आना पड़ा ठीक है लैक ऑफ एक्चुअली प्रैक्टिस कम होता है तो इसका एडवर्टाइजमेंट भी बहुत कम होता है लोग मतलब लोगों को कम पता है और सबसे बड़ा प्रेशर है आपका पीयर ग्रुप आपके लोग ही आपको बताएंगे कि यार क्या तुम चक्कर में पढ़ रहे हो कहाँ अग्निकर्म कर रहे हो और आपके ही पीयर ग्रुप बताएंगे उधर मत जाओ अग्निकर्म दग्ध करते हैं दागते हैं तो ये गलत टर्म यूज करते हैं आपको सही टर्म यूज करना है अग्निकर्म उसके बाद पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस मैं शेयर करूंगा अपना कि देर इज नो पिल फॉर एवरील आप ये सोच लीजिए कि ऐसा नहीं है कि मतलब आप जो भी अग्निकर्म से कोई पेशेंट हंड्रेड परसेंट ठीक है ठीक होते हैं मैक्सिमम पेशेंट ठीक होते हैं पर अगर आपको कोई पेशेंट ये बोलता है कि सर मुझे आराम नहीं हुआ है तो आप इसका मतलब ये नहीं आप फ्रस्ट्रेट नहीं होंगे देर इज नो पिल फॉर एवरील हर किसी व्यक्ति का इलाज नहीं हो सकता है हर बीमारी का इलाज हो सकता है पर हर बीमार बीमार का इलाज नहीं कर सकते हम लोग और ये मैंने कुछ सीखा है कि योगा इज पर्सनलाइज नॉट जर्नलाइज क्योंकि मैंने देखा है कुछ लोग अभी टीवी देख के मॉर्निंग्स में योगा अपना करने लगते हैं एक पेशेंट मेरे पास एक छोटा सा अपना एक्सपीरियंस शेयर करना चाहता हूँ एक पेशेंट मेरे पास थी पिछले दो तीन महीने से मेरे पास आ रही थी सी वॉज अनेबल टू वॉक और मैंने उसमें कुछ सेशन अग्निकरण किए और वो सीज सीज एब्सोलूटली फाइन पर एक कुछ मैं कुछ दिनों बाद वो मेरे पास आती है कि सर वो स्थिति फिर वैसी होगी मैंने खूब सोच पूछ सोचा कि आखिर ऐसा कैसे हो गया कि अग्निकर्म वापस अपनी पहले जैसी स्थिति में आ गया 
तो फिर उसके बाद मैंने रूल आउट किया तो खैर उसी भगवान ने ऐसी मदद की रही कुछ पेशेंट हमारे पास एक पेशेंट ऐसी मेरे पास आया उसने बताया कुछ सेम सिम्टम्स वैसे हो रहे थे तो उसने कहा सर मैंने योगा किया था टीवी से देख के मैं योगा को क्रिटिसाइज नहीं कर रहा हूं मतलब मैं कहना चाहता हूं कि अगर आपको योगा करना है योग करना चाहते हैं तो आप किसी एक्सपर्ट की सलाह से प्रॉपर अपनी अपने हिसाब से योगा को पर्सनलाइज बनाइए फिर जब मैंने उस लेडी से जब पूछा कि आप को क्या योगा करती है उसने कहा सर मैंने सोचा कि सर्दियां स्टार्ट हो गई है मैं वॉक में नहीं जा सकती हूं तो मैं योगा के स्टार्ट करती हूं तो उसको वापस प्रॉब्लम हुई तो इसका मतलब ये कि जो मैंने सीखा कि आप किसी पेशेंट को योगा योग का योग आसन करना के लिए कहेंगे तो उनसे जरूर कहिए कि आप क्योंकि इसमें बैकबोन इन्वॉल्व रहती है तो आप किसी से उनसे कहिए कि आप किसी पर्सनल ट्रेनर से मदद लें या किसी एक्सपर्ट से बात करें इफ यू चार्ज लेस पीपल डेंट डोंट टेक हेल्थ सीरियसली आप कम पैसे लेंगे कम फीस चार्ज करेंगे पेशेंट आपको सीरियसली नहीं लेगा और अपनी हेल्थ का ध्यान ही रखेगा आप उनसे अच्छी ठीक से चार्ज करिए जब आप ज्यादा चार्ज करते हैं तो पेशेंट आपकी बात ध्यान सुनता है और वो अपनी हेल्थ का ख्याल रखता है यू आर नेटिंग यू आर नॉट ट्रीटिंग टू पेशेंट बट फॉर द पेशेंट मतलब आप किसी अपना जो ट्रीटमेंट है नॉट टू द पेशेंट वी आर ट्रीटिंग फॉर द पेशेंट मतलब उनकी बेटरमेंट के लिए हम लोग काम करते हैं और अग्निकर्म में देखिए मेरेकल टू है और अगर कोई क्वेश्चन के अलावा आपके पास रह गया हो तो आप बोल सकते हैं थैंक यू डॉक्टर What's the question? Uh, please explain the Go ahead. relief from chronic back pain and knee pain. Yeah, uh, he, he has already asked the question. I, I should answer. Yes. Yes. The yes. Chronic, chronic back and uh, knee, just to see what is the age knee of the pain. patient. Yes. Because Prakruti of the patient is very important. Desha, Kala, Rutu, Vai. I didn't go into detail because I I love fundamentals of Ayurveda, uh, but back and knee depends on the how bad. the condition is but any pain you know i i don't want to say that uh, dr shagal say it is works for so many other diseases which i entirely agree i say let's start with the pain which agni karma is wonderful it works for asthma work for so many diseases but going back to the back and knee what somebody is asking question uh, if the patient is not old say example how how old is the patient i mean do we interact or we just take the question do we interact with the person who is asking question or simply answer just just, just okay for back and back and back and back and knee pain uh, find mm-hmm. any good vaidyas as uh, dr varma has said somebody should be well trained agni karma because sometimes vaidya say anybody can do it you know and it is a skill is a parasitical procedure so you should be skilled properly what i say to the person who is asking question that uh, you should go to some qualified proper agni karma specialist around you and get treated you will uh, i cannot say 100% but 90 90 99% you will get better so agni karma is a boon as far as ayurveda is concerned and pain is concerned uh, when i say like that i do lot of scientific work i i look into the science what they are talking about what is neuromodulation then i say so for back and me go to any qualified uh doctor ayurvedist and say have you been trained in uh, agni karma and as sudeep varma i was very happy to hear by saying you must get trained properly and when you get trained properly believe me all the doubts you have about agni karma goes away because i tell the practitioner who are studying agni karma i say take 500 leaves and we try to start making them to do on the leaves first and when they have done 500 leaves i see your hand is confident and then it is not you know if you are a surgeon no point of reading theoretically it has to be done by hand next question dr sir sir thank you uh, there is another question which is better to use and direct heat like shalaka with candles heating or indirectly heat first heat then apply shalaka which is better this question goes to dr umi Mr. Sagar, I would like him to answer this, please. Uh, can uh, please repeat the question, please. The question is, uh, 
just a minute. With shalaka is better to use and direct heat like shalaka with candles heating or indirectly heat uh, first heat then apply shalaka which is better. Uh, actually, nowadays the Vedas are using is a panchadhatu shalaka. But mm -hmm. uh, in my opinion, you have uh, all type of shalaka. Uh, there is swarn shalaka, rajat shalaka, low shalaka, and tamra shalaka too. Number two, uh, what they are talking about that this is the indirect heating. Uh, we do Agni Karam uh, in three ways. The first one is burning. The second one is threatening. Uh, just uh, uh, burning, heating and threatening. So if you want to just heat, uh, one case I want to share with you, ki a pregnant lady having the uh, pain in his knee and uh, <clears throat> neck, and she don't want to take any medicine, uh, uh, and he know about me, and she's my actually student. He came, she came, and uh, I do Agni Karam, indirect Agni Karam because uh, she's pregnant, so I uh, do not use the direct heat. I just use the, use the candle, or you should use the uh, <clears throat> um, Adrak ginger piece, and then you sh uh, do the Agni Karam on that point. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mesh. Uh, this is a question for, for whether uh, whether uh, Swin Barod sir, uh, please tell us the cream used in Pashat Karm to reduce burn. Please share the name of the cream. Sir, sorry. Please, please share the name of the cream which you apply as Pashat Karm. Of ah, okay, okay, correct. The uh, the cream gets prepared. Uh, with the Soria Robusta and uh, Rumi Mastaki, which come from Greece. Uh, his name is Holistic Burn Cool Cream, which if somebody is interested, they contact the Global Agni Karma Center. Uh, if anybody wants to know more about Agni Karma and the work we do, uh, go to the website, uh, globalagnikarma.com, and you will get plenty of information about Agni Karma. And if you ask the doctor, there are four doctors there who are... Uh, the best to my mind has they have done all these thousands of patients and their hands are so skilled uh, so they can contact for the cream to the center and they will tell them whom to contact to get it okay uh, this is a very vast topic actually can you please tell us different points of Agni Karma and different diseases. I think this is a very vast topic. Can and, I, uh, well, the, I was happy to hear Dr. Shagal was talking about, I hope I am pronouncing correct name. I have not met him. Uh, but, but to, you know, he's not only for the pain. You know, I, I am, a, my Prakriti, I, I hope you will be able to know, is Pita. Am I right? I like practical thing. So, all of the things what he said regarding Pandu, I am also thinking not about pain. I am going into the depth of Unumada and Apasmara. That yes, how sure. Agni Karma, how Agni Karma can help Unumada and Apasmara. But I am a kind because I have lived in Britain for so many years. Until I don't have enough proof, I don't speak. Say example, uh, for uh, asthma, you do Agni Karma and you give basic uh, Ayurvedic treatment. You know, it will work wonder. But we are doing a lot of research work at the moment in other disease in relation to Agni Karma. And that's why I say boon. I use the word boon in the beginning. But because of the, uh, the, the research strategy and to, to proceed, it takes time. But in so many diseases, I will not say uh, it is only for the pain. Pain is one of the factors of Agni Karma. And I, I would like, you know, I always emphasize, be precise, number one. It is a parasurgical procedure. And there should be more Vaidyas who want to learn. There should be more Vaidya who wants to teach. And 
uh, this is open. We are living in 2020. And, you know, a few days ago, our prime minister said, Atma Nirbhar, self-reliance. We should not look towards Western country to find a magic pill for the pain. In America, this opioid crisis. Put in the Google search, opioid crisis. You know, America is stuck because when you have pain, they start prescribing opioid. And Ayurveda has got a such a wonderful opportunity. You know, if you're Vaidya, I, I, I know I want to encourage young, young Vaidya. If you don't have anything at all, you have a salaka and you have a little cream and you can cure the patient within a year. We will be known in your city. Really, you don't need anything else. Dr. Verma, am I agree? Dr. Mm -hmm. Verma, do you understand? You have to have a salaka. I always tell the young Vaidya, have a salaka in the hand and little cream in the other hand. You should learn how to, how to practice Agni Karma and you can do well. And not to be afraid, not looking for the Western country always for the cure. And mechanism, don't worry, because if you come across a pain consultant or orthopedic, what they will say, I'll tell you, modern way. What is the mechanism of Agni Karma? That's what they say. What do they say, Dr. Chabra? They say, what is the mechanism of... I say, tell me the mechanism of pain. What they are asking, how are we breaking the samprapti of a pain in Ayurvedic terminology? I say, you explain to me the samprapti of the pain itself first. Then we will show how, how it works. Because I have really gone into depth because Dr. Kostopoulos was talking about migraine. I'll take two more minutes. He was talking about migraine. I say to Dr. Nicholas, Dr. Campbell, and all the you know, allopath that I know, I said, can we do functional MRI before the Agni Karma, during the Agni Karma, and after the Agni Karma to see how migraine get decreased? For the migraine, I, I just tell you, there is a latest drug molecule they have found in the West called CGRP. Do you know the cost, Dr. Jabra? The cost of this drug is $700 a month, which is 50,000 rupees a month. Do you know the cure? If you got 15 migraine attack per month, it will become 8 to 10. Agni Karma, we can show one after another after another, 30 years of migraine with the five to seven session, we have several cases which has been, which I will be hesitant to use word cure. But if you don't have a migraine for three months, it should be called cure. And, and all the medication has been stopped. So, I believe, maybe is my enthusiasm, one should take 10 neurologists of India, 10 neurologists of uh, Ayurvedic doctor who knows Agni Karma, and say, let's do clinical study. Well, find something in, in Delhi, Bombay, Chennai, 10 neurologists. Tell them, let's get 10 migraine patients, treat the patient, and see the how result. Because what we have, what we have in Ayurveda, not explanation, the mechanism, the modern way. You must have a evidence-based medicine, clinical study. And, and I really believe, because I have got some good neurologist friends who are famous in India, and we discuss and we talk. I, I will not mention his name, but what he does, Dr. Chabra will be happy to know, and other Vaidyas or people are listening, he, he will get, patient will go migraine patient, he will prescribe all the modern drugs, and in the end he writes in his prescription, I say, old drug I have prescribed, try and not to take it, go and get Agni Karma done. Yes. yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> and this is what, what is the, what is the wonder of Ayurveda? And, and I always say we should thank to our uh, teachers, uh, our books, our Sanhita, it's not easy. It is really not easy. If we did not have books, uh, we would not be able to propagate Ayurveda the way we do it. And, and it is a, it's a gold mine. You know, India has all the herbs, all the techniques. I think we should have more encouragement from the Ayush or government of India to propagate Ayurveda more and, and show to the world the way. I am saying not to just learn from the West. We can be leading. Uh, force to show to the world how we can do the healthcare uh, for the patient who are suffering from a pain. And Dr. Sabra, if you would like, uh, I will yes, start yes, a Can you hear me? Yes, yes. yes. Carry on.
Talking about migraine, I can show you a two minutes video of a migraine patient. How they recover with Agnikarma. Is this okay with you? Can I put it on? Please, please put it on. Here it is. This is thermal microcautery. This is the patient. Describe how you feel your pain. No, it is. It's uh, from the temperate area right to underneath my eyes, all the way back. Pressure on my head. For how long has it been like this? For the last half an hour? Yeah, more or less. Half an hour. Okay. And uh, the scale of the pain, if you think zero to ten, what is At the moment, it's probably about nine. About nine. Okay. Do you have any other symptoms? Stomach, eyes, sounds? Um, uh, it's bearable, but with my eyes closed, that's preferable. So the light is bearable. What about the sounds? Um, no, it's quite quiet. Yes. Okay. okay. Any nausea? No. Okay. All right. Okay. And now we have done the thermal microbiota. You have seen the procedure in the Global Acne Karma Center. Here for medical confidentiality and ethical reasons, we don't show the procedure. 15 minutes later, we have done this procedure, the thermal microbiota, about 15 minutes ago. Tell us how you feel now. I'm energized. I'm happy. I'm full of life. I can do things I can do. And the pain that was around nine, what is it now? Oh. <laughs> oh, excellent, okay. Has it ever happened again with anything else? No, no way, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now with the light, you can see it's open. Yes, look at my eyes, they're wide open. Yes, yes, and everything looks okay. Okay, oh. Good. So you're happy? Okay. And no stress now, by the way. Thank you so much. Excellent, okay. Fiona, enjoy your weekend. So, the, this was the, you know, this case that they come and really they feel relief within 10, 15 minutes. No medication can do this in this way without side effects. Hmm? So I, I believe Agni Karma can be a future. Don't forget in, in the West, migraine will be an epidemic and it will get worse and worse in this way. Dr. Chabra, that's great. The, the, the last, last word I'll tell you. Uh, I mean, for the chronic pain is one thing, for migraine is another thing. There is no medication, there is no procedure, there is no surgery in the world which can decrease the migraine pain within three and a half to four minutes. We, we, we check the timing. So we have to start thinking that in Ayurveda there are treatments which give uh, relief immediately. Okay? Just... Uh, right, so right, we, right. We, 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 I love, as I said from beginning... Bleeding, actually. Uh, okay. The as I said, like as I said from... Bleeding. Yeah. Yes. As I said, I want all Vaidyas to love Ayurveda. That's it. Okay? Take care. Thank you for inviting us. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. And I, I would like to just add on that uh, we have all seen beautiful case of migraine. I think this was an, again a journey back to Greece. And as is already always said in Ayurveda, protection came pramanam. So we don't need to explain the mechanism always. Just that the patient should be relieved of his agony or his or her agony. That's yeah. the main, most important part, most important component of treatment i think nobody is more up than the patient himself or herself right. and we should take him or her uh, by the words the patient says and uh, uh, with this i think we are done for the day a last question i would like to take up there's a question which say i uh, is asking the global agni karma center sir which you showed the video clip which is an advanced tool which is being used at Global Agni Karma. That is yeah. apparatus we saw in the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, show, I'll tell you. Because we, uh, we use Agni Karma, the Salaka as well. This is uh, recently has prepared an instrument okay. uh, which it is, uh, gives the heat. It took some time because, you know, we would like to modernize. So it does the same work. The temperature remains the same like a Salaka. 
and uh, the machine has been prepared with our engineers and uh, same principle is same instead of heating in open fire patient get afraid what's going on when you put the salak or you show with this machine is the same uh, principle and the tip of that uh, thing what they was doing salaka uh, get heated and uh, you do the agni karma this is a modern version of salaka let's put so it like that that's a very good innovation i congratulate you for that <laughs> just for the, the knowledge of every one of us who's in the uh, meeting room what is the cost of this instrument this i shalaka? think they are not selling it at the moment but i'll tell the doctors because okay. they work so hard okay. uh, but first even to use this instrument the tip of that thing i always tell the student who comes to study do with the salaka around 1000 patient then you use this machine because it's so precise so delicate if you do deeper it becomes third degree one which one should not try so so people who has not done agni karma you should stick to your salaka heat it up mm -hmm. and when you have done 500 1000 patient then you think about the machine okay right thank everyone thanks again we are done for the day and may these deliberations bring exuberance in your life and may all who have attended have a shalaka tomorrow morning in your hand for the patients of course i would uh, switch over to mr praveen prabhakar to for the closing remarks of the session uh, thank you priti ma'am ashwin sir nicolas sir dr sandeep ji and dr umesh ji for this wonderful and informative session i would also like to thank vivek vikas sir and the entire idio team nasya always plays a vital role in any initiative taken for ayurveda the association is vigyan bharati's initiative for ayurveda i am also a nasya hope in idio expo we will create a new story together thanks to all nasya friends vidyas and students namaskar 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 thank you very much thank you everyone